En route is a visualization technique that lets you explore large quantities of experimental data for pathways. Showing experimental data in pathways is tricky, as there is not much space in pathway maps and the number of values for a single node can be huge. En route consists of two views, a pathway view and the en route view. The idea of en route is to let you focus on a path which is then extracted and shown in the en route view where you then can see all the details on experimental data. This is the pathway view which shows a CAC pathway map. On the right is the en route view which shows the extracted path and its associated experimental data. In the pathway view we see the average of all gene expression experiments color coded on a node. Red means the gene is upregulated and blue downregulated. We also show the standard deviation in the green little bar so that highly variable nodes can be easily identified. To choose a path we can click on a start node and then hover over other nodes. If there is a path between these nodes we show bubble sets around the path. In cases where multiple paths are possible we can choose one of them. Notice that the enroute view switches the path at the same time. Enroute shows the selected path in a linear fashion, but it also shows where the branches along the path are located. We can switch to the branches in the enroute view, which highlights the updated path in the pathway view. Let's take a closer look at the en route view now. The en route layout is optimized to show experimental data next to the path. It's quite common that a node maps to multiple genes. In en route we can show the experimental data for each of those mapping genes. The data you see here is gene expression and copy number data from patients suffering from brain cancer. As you can see, the data is grouped. The groups represent subtypes of this brain cancer. The gene expression data is shown in bar charts, which have error bars if we show an abstraction for a group. The vertical bars let us compare the difference between groups, while the horizontal abstract bars make looking for trends along a path easy. Copy number data is ordinal in nature. We only show those values that are abnormal. Deleted genes are shown in blue bars pointing downwards. Increased copy numbers are shown in red bars pointing upwards. We use a histogram for the abstraction of copy number data. En route uses linking and brushing. That means that we can, for example, select a bar in the histogram that contains all patients that have an increased copy number of this gene and their gene expression values are highlighted. In this example, some patients have an increased copy number of PDGFRIA which obviously correlates with increased gene expression in the proneural subtype. This can have effects on the path further downstream. En route is part of the Kaleido Biomolecular Visualization Framework. If you're interested in Kaleido, you can download it at kaleido.org. Thank you for watching our video.